A nuclear weapon, also known as atomic bomb, is an explosive device that derives its destructive force from nuclear reactions, either fission or a combination of a fission and fusion. Both reactions release vast quantities of energy from relatively small amounts of matter. A modern thermonuclear weapon weighing little more than a thousand kilograms can produce an explosion comparable to the detonation of more than a billion kilograms of conventional high explosive. Thus, even single small nuclear devices, no larger than traditional bombs, can devastate an entire city by blast, fire and radiation. Nuclear weapons are considered weapons of mass destruction and their use and control has been a major focus of international relations policy since their debut. In the history of warfare, only two nuclear weapons have been detonated offensively, both near the end of the World War II. The first was detonated on the morning of August the 6th 1945, when the United States dropped a uranium gun-type device, codenamed Little Boy, on the Japanese city of Hiroshima. The second was detonated three days later, when the United States dropped a plutonium implosion-type device, codenamed Fat Man, on the city of Nagasaki, Japan. These bombings resulted in the immediate deaths of around 120,000 people, mostly civilians, from injuries sustained from the explosion and acute radiation sickness, and even more deaths from long-term effects of ionizing radiation. The use of these weapons was and remains controversial. Since the Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombings, nuclear weapons have been detonated on over 2,000 occasions for testing purposes and demonstration purposes. A few states have possessed such weapons or are suspected of seeking them. The only countries known to have detonated nuclear weapons and that acknowledge possessing such weapons are, chronologically, the United States, the Soviet Union, succeeded as a nuclear power by Russia, the United Kingdom, France, the People's Republic of China, India, Pakistan and North Korea. Israel is also widely believed to possess nuclear weapons, though it does not acknowledge having them. There are two major types of primitive nuclear weapons. The first type produces its explosive energy through nuclear fission reactions alone. Such fission weapons are commonly referred to as atomic bombs or atom bombs, abbreviated as A-bombs, though their energy comes specifically from the nucleus of the atom. In fission weapons, a mass of fissile material, enriched uranium or plutonium, is assembled into a supercritical mass, the amount of material needed to start an exponentially growing nuclear chain reaction, either by shooting one piece of subcritical material into another, the gun method, or by compressing a subcritical sphere of material using chemical explosives to many times its original density, the implosion method. The latter approach is considered more sophisticated than the former and only the latter approach can be used if plutonium is the fissile material. A major challenge in all nuclear weapon designs is to ensure that a significant fraction of the fuel is consumed before the weapon destroys itself. The amount of energy released by fission bombs can range between the equivalent of less than a ton of TNT upwards to around 500,000 tons 500 kilotons of TNT. 
The second basic type of nuclear weapon produces a large amount of its energy through nuclear fusion reactions. Such fusion weapons are generally referred to as thermonuclear weapons or more colloquially as hydrogen bombs, also abbreviated as H-bombs, as they rely on fusion reactions between isotopes of hydrogen, deuterium or tritium. However, all such weapons derive a significant portion and sometimes a majority of their energy from fission, including fission induced by neutrons from fusion reactions. Unlike fu fission weapons, there are no inherent limits on the energy released by thermonuclear weapons. Only six countries, United States, Russia, United Kingdom, People's Republic of China, France and India, have conducted thermonuclear weapons tests. Whether India has detonated a true multi-stage thermonuclear weapon is controversial. Thermonuclear bombs work by using the energy of a fission bomb in order to compress and heat fu fusion fuel. In the Tellerulam design, which accounts for a multi-megaton yield hydrogen bomb, this is accomplished by placing a fission bomb and fusion fuel, tritium, deuterium or tritium deuteride, in proximity with a special radiation reflecting container. When the fission bomb is detonated, gamma and x-rays emitted first compress the fusion fuel, then heat it to thermonuclear temperatures. The ensuing fusion reaction creates enormous numbers of high-speed neutrons which then can induce fission in materials which normally are not prone to it, such as depleted uranium. Each of these components is known as a stage, with the fission bomb as the primary and the fusion capsule as the secondary. In large hydrogen bombs, about half of the yield and much of the resulting nuclear fallout comes from the final fissioning of depleted uranium. By chaining together numerous stages with increasing amounts of fusion fuel, thermonuclear weapons can be made to an almost arbitrary yield, the largest ever detonated, the Char Bomba of the USSR, released an energy equivalent to over 50 million tons of TNT, 50 megatons. Most thermonuclear weapons are considerably smaller than this, due, for instance, to practical constraints and fitting them into the space and weight requirements of missile warheads. There are other types of nuclear weapons as well, for example, a boosted fission weapon, is a fission bomb which increases its explosive yield through a small amount of fusion reactions, but it is not a fusion bomb. In the boosted bomb, the neutrons produced by the fusion reactions serve primarily to increase the efficiency of the fission bomb. Some weapons are designed for special purposes. A neutron bomb is a thermonuclear weapon that yields a relatively small explosion but a relatively large amount of neutron radiation. Such a device could theoretically be used to cause massive casualties while leaving infrastructure mostly intact and creating a minimal amount of fallout. The detonation of a nuclear weapon is accompanied by a blast of neutron radiation. Surrounding a nuclear weapon with suitable material such as cobalt or gold creates a weapon known as salted bomb. The device, such a device, can produce exceptionally large quantities of radioactive contamination. Most variety in nuclear weapon design is in different yields of nuclear weapons for different types of purposes and in manipulating design elements to attempt to make weapons extremely small. And that concludes our short introduction to nuclear weapons. This is Dr. Theodor Liolius, the director of the Hellenic Arms Control Center.